Rain and lots of it. Vast tracts of land in South Australia's north and west has been inundated, prompting a major emergency declaration and additional responsibilities for a police commissioner who's also dealing with the COVID pandemic. This is, I think, the only occasion I'm aware of where we've had two active major emergency declarations at the same time in South Australia. It's fair to say uh, that we are now understanding the full magnitude of the issues associated with the extreme weather in South Australia. The initial emergency order will be in place for 14 days, but there's already indications it won't be long enough as more adverse weather is on the horizon. And we are expecting more thunderstorms and severe weather across the weekend with risk escalating for heavy rains. The far north and the Eyre Peninsula have been badly affected in the past few days, with roads and rail falling apart amid the deluge that's also damaged properties. With the Stewart Highway cut to the north, the opal mining town of Coobapiti is low on food supplies. By Monday, so basically we're not going to have any bread and we're not going to have any fresh produce and we're not going to have any fresh meat and toilet paper. The police commissioner is also concerned about freight moving into state. We also have a significant issue with essentially all major arterial routes, both by rail and by road, being disrupted to Western Australia and the Northern Territory. The rail network has at least 14 washaways causing damage and the Australian Rail Track Corporation is forecasting it'll take 18 days to repair. However, with the severe weather we're expecting over the next four or five days, that could well be extended. When it rains, it pours. Neil Cross, ABC News.